Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're checking out what's new in Sharp 14, which just dropped in .NET 10 Preview 3. We're going to focus on two big updates, extension members and null conditional assignment. All right, let's get into it. So we all know and love extension methods, right? They've been around forever, and they're super useful when you want to extend a class without modifying the original type. Let's say we've got a basic list of numbers. Now, let's say we want to filter out all the numbers greater than 3. With an extension method, we can write something like this. We've created a custom extension method called where greater than that filters the list. The magic is in that this keyword. It tells C Sharp that we're adding this method to anything that implements I enumerable int. So we can call it on any list of integers, like it's a built in method. Now, this is great, but what if we wanted to add a property to that same type? Like maybe we want to check if the result is empty large is empty, or something like that. Well, until now, c -sharp didn't support extension properties. You were stuck with methods only. And that's where c -sharp 14 comes in and changes the game completely. Extension members are leveling up. So now that we know the limitation, that we could only extend types using methods, c -sharp 14 introduces a brand new concept called extension blocks. Let me show you what that looks like with our previous example. Still extension class must be static. Now this is interesting. Instead of writing a method with this keyword, we're using this new extension, block. So what's happening here? We're basically telling the compiler, hey, for anything that's an I enumerable int, I want to add some members, like methods and properties, inside this block. Inside this block, source becomes the receiver. So just like before, we can write where greater than extension method inside the block. The cool part here is, we're no longer passing in the list with this like we used to. The source is already scoped for us in the extension block, making the method cleaner and more intuitive. It reads just like a real instance method, but it's still an extension under the hood. And right below that, we've got this. Now this is where things get really cool. We're adding a property to I enumerable int using the new extension block syntax. This wasn't even possible in previous versions of C Sharp. You could only extend types using methods. But now, with C Sharp 14, we can define properties too. So, what does this empty do? It checks if the collection has any items. Source.any returns true if there's at least one element, and we're negating that with A, so it returns true only when the collection is completely empty. That means we can now write code like this. We're checking if a filtered list, large, is empty by using our new is empty property. If it's empty, that means there were no numbers greater than the threshold, so we print no large numbers. Otherwise, we've got some matching items, and we say found large numbers. Way more expressive, right? You're extending not just with methods anymore, but full-blown behavior, including properties, and everything feels like a native part of the type. All right, let's run the application and see what happens. And yep, we got found large numbers which means our extension method filtered the list correctly, and the result wasn't empty. That is empty property worked like a charm. Now here's the cool part. This doesn't just work with int. C Sharp 14 lets us take things a step further with generics in extension blocks. Let's say we want to apply the same logic to a list of doubles or even decimals. We can totally do that now using a generic extension like this. We're adding a generic type parameter t. The where t i number t part ensures that only numeric types can be used with this extension. This means this extension only works if t is a numeric type, like int, double, or decimal. All right, let's run the application and see how everything works. We get the output, found large numbers. It works just like we'd expect. Now you might be wondering, do I have to rewrite all my old extension methods into this new style? Absolutely not. C Sharp 14 doesn't break anything. The new extension blocks work alongside your current extension methods. You can gradually adopt them, or not at all. Totally your choice. Now, let's dive into the second feature in C Sharp 14, Null Conditional Assignment. This is all about making your code cleaner and safer, especially when dealing with nullable types. Let's look at an example. Imagine we have a customer class like this. Now, let's say we want to update a customer's age, but we don't want to throw any exceptions if the customer is null. Before C Sharp 14, we'd write something like this. 
If the customer is not null, then update the customer age. That's fine, but it feels a little verbose, right? Now, with no conditional assignment, you can simplify it like this. Nice and clean. If customer is null, nothing happens. If it's not, the age gets updated. It's just like the null conditional. We already use for method calls or property access, but now we can assign values with it, too. So what do you think? Are you going to start using extension blocks in your code? Or are you sticking with the good old method syntax for now? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you're planning to use these new features. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on C Sharp and .NET. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.